In an effort to understand the interaction of myosin thick filaments with actin, the thin filaments, investigators took these chopped up myosin monomers and asked whether either of the two components would bind to actin. So we can take the thick filament here, we can dissociate them into their myosin monomers, and we can add them to actin on the z-lines, and the image of the z-line changes in the electron microscope after the addition of these myosin monomers. Remarkably, the appearance of these decorated actin filaments was that of arrowheads, which was very neat because it suggested that the actin projects from a z-line shown here in opposite directions. Remember that actin is a polar filament. It has a plus and a minus end, so it assembles at one end and disassembles at the other. It has a structurally a different look if you were to look at one end versus the other. And the ability to decorate actin with these myosin monomers and show these arrowheads emphasizes this polarity. So what you can conclude from this is that the myosin monomer, in fact, really it's just the S1 head that has this ability to bind to actin, binds to actin, whether free or on Z lines, that we say the actin was decorated either by intact myosin monomers or by just the heads. If you think about it for a moment, you'll realize that it's eminently reasonable that the actins should face in opposite direction, on opposite sides of a z-line, given how they are to interact with the intact myosin filament in a sarcomere. I don't have a picture of decoration of actin in skeletal muscle, but I do have a picture of the arrowhead appearance of actin in the microvilli of the cells lining the small intestine. While the waves of food being pushed through the small intestine help the microvilli to stay apart from one another, right, not come glued together and enhance absorption, the uh, microvilli have these bundles of actin which interact with other mm, proteins in the cell and actually are capable of independent movement. And so you can see all the arrowheads are pointing into intestinal cell from the microvilli where the, the backs of the arrows are.